All right, Hero, we're gonna go on a little short walk today. It's pretty cold out, so we're gonna keep it under 10 minutes out here. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna get him into our walk. Um, of course, if you need to have a leash on, that's fine. I'm just showing you this video for the purposes of e-collar heel and showing you that it's all off-leash reliable. If you need to hold a leash in your hand, it doesn't change anything. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is recall, and then I'm gonna start walking and say heel. So to recall, we use our verbal, which is C-O-M-E, paired with the tone, which is this T button on the side of your remote. Come, beep, 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 good boy. Here he's coming, heel, tap my left leg, tap my tone again, and then he joins up in that space next to my left leg. And now we're in this wonderful off-leash heel. Once you start your walk, the only thing to look out for is position. So if his head leaves this sweet spot next to my left leg, that's when your collar turns on. What I like to do is stim if he's going too far forward, tone if he's lagging too far behind or going too far to the left, okay? I'm also gonna click the stim if, his, if I see his nose go to the ground. And I want him to be following my leg. And if he's sniffing, he's not actually following me. Good boy. Nice work. He's in a really nice spot. Good. If I see him pushing the limit, like going too far forward, what I'm gonna do is abruptly slow down and if he goes past me, I'm going to click that collar. That gives him awareness to my left leg and it'll make myself more relevant. He can't make mistakes because if he does, the e-collar turns on. So he's gotta give 100% to the walk. Okay, I really like this position. Nice work, buddy. Good. All off leash, perfect walk. No pulling. Nice work. He's a little distracted by all the smell. All right. If I stop, sit. He should sit. If he doesn't sit, I just give a little click. Good. And he sits. That was an eight. Stay. I'm going to practice some other obedience here. Down. Good boy. Now notice if he does listen all the way. Down. Good boy. If he does listen, I don't click the collar. If he does anything but, like, like he said, halfway just there, that's when I give a click. And I'm low. I'm at an eight. All right. But I don't want him doing things halfway. All right. So now we have our down stay. To keep this reliable, you're going to put your dog in the stay, introduce triggers, and correct if they make a mistake. That's literally it. <laughs> if they start making mistakes with no corrections, it kind of falls apart pretty quickly. All right, let's do a recall to a sit. So we're gonna do again the verbal paired with the beep. Come, good boy, good boy. Comes right to me, nice work, right in front of me. Sit, and yeah, I'm gonna click if he doesn't sit. Nice, so this is your accountability button, okay? Without this, he chooses if he wants to listen or not. Good boy, let's see if I can get that D-O-W-N the first time. Down. Nice work. Notice he didn't make the same mistake twice because he said, oh, last time she corrected me for not doing my best. This time I'm just gonna do it the first time I'm asked. Let's give him some off-leash freedom. To release him, you're gonna give him the release word, which is break. Hero, break, good boy. <laughs> nice work. Notice he's all off-leash. Completely off leash reliable, not running away. If he, if I did need to recall him, I would just use that t tone button. Pretty cold out today. We're gonna go in where it's warm. 